Good morning and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish News Bulletin. Scotland's 6-0 victory over San Marino yesterday is the first step to repairing the fragility in the national team, according to manager Steve Clark. John McGinn was the hat-trick hero as the Scots ran out easy winners at a sodden Hampden Park, with the result putting them up to fourth in the group and putting smiles back on some fans' faces. Clark himself was pleased with the result. But hopefully it repairs a little bit of the, the fragility that, that's in the, that was in the squad after the, the four games against top opposition and we lost all four games. Uh, it was a, was a difficult run of fixtures, I knew that when I took the job and it's nice to come out and get a game like this at home where everyone can be feeling, I see some smiles in the dressing room after the game. The under-21s are in action this evening, they visit the Czech Republic. A solid start has been made to their campaign as they sit tied top of their group. Knowing a victory will give them a real chance at qualification for Euro 2021. Hibernian and Glasgow City will contest this year's Scottish Cup final as both sides ran out 4-1 winners yesterday. Rangers and Motherwell were the two losing semi-finalists and the cup final, which will be played at Tyne Castle, will see the three in a row holders Hibs take on 12 in a row league winners City. So who'll win that one? And Ross Wilson is set to leave his role at Southampton and become Rangers' new director of football. Wilson would replace Mark Allen, who announced in September that he was leaving Ibrox for family reasons. Let's have a quick look over the papers. The record write McGrin bonus. The Sun also picture star man Magin. And the Daily Mail focus on Scotland's Rugby World Cup exit. Thanks for watching this morning. Make sure you stay with us on PLZ. Bring you highlights from uh, yesterday's press conferences. And of course, we'll discuss all of the international fixtures on tonight's football show at 5.30.